What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick update. We actually have a JL Wrangler behind me. I was gonna show you how to stop the auto start stop feature in this thing, because it is so annoying if you drive it and you forget to shut it off. It's annoying because it does not have a memory feature, so every time you get in your Jeep, you have to turn it off if you do not want it on. Now there's a permanent way to fix this and you can do it in less than two minutes. I'm gonna show you how easy it is in this video. So this is totally reversible, uh, but it does solve the problem permanently, if that makes any sense. Uh, it'll stop it, but then you can also put the piece back in and fix the problem. Now this is the JL that we have behind us with a Sport. We actually added 33s onto it, no lift, anything like that. So what a lot of people do is they just come in here and they start their Jeep. And every time they start it, they have to go down and hit this button to turn that auto stock stuff off. Which is really annoying because there's no memory on the Jeep. So every time you get in, you actually have to push this button. Thanks to JL Forums, there's actually a way to disable that completely. That way, you never have to deal with turning that on and off every day. Which is annoying that it doesn't have a memory setting. You think it would actually remember the last setting that it had, but no, you have to do that every single time. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is open the hood. Once you have the hood open, you're going to go to the driver's side here. And there's two uh, plungers. This one here runs pretty much everything else and telling you that your hood is open and all that kind of stuff and gives you warning lights and all this. This one, so far, is only linked to auto start stop. So all you have to do is unplug this one and remove it and you should be good to go. Now to remove it, all you have to do is push in this tab here and this tab on the other side, pull it up, and you'll see that it just is a plug. All you have to do is pull that tab up. On the other side, there's the same tab. Pull that out. And just like that, you're done. That's all you have to do is just remove this, and it completely removes the problem that everybody's been having. It's so annoying that this thing just shuts off and turns back on. And that's just something that Jeep has to do to get the fuel ratings that they do. Now you have to do is get back in your Jeep, start it up. Now the only negative to doing this is you're gonna get a warning dash light. Uh, it's kind of tucked up in the corner out of the way so it doesn't really bother you all that much. As long as you can deal with that, you're fine, you're good to go. And there's that dash light that I was talking about. Now it's tucked up in the corner out of the way, but it's a small price to pay to have that system shut off. Like I said, that system's just so annoying and it's something that honestly shouldn't be in a Jeep, maybe not even a Rubicon, maybe like a Sahara I could see it in, but like a Rubicon just kind of, it's kind of annoying. Sahara's more like street going, that's something that it belongs in. And if you ever take it to the dealership, uh, I would just recommend you put this back in before you get there. That way, when they scan for codes, they don't see that you remove this and it voids your warranties and stuff like that. Um, obviously enough, it's easy enough to put right back in. All you have to do is put that plug back in, snap this back down in, and you're good to go. So that's all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this really helped you out, please give me a big thumbs up. And I have a bit of a surprise in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.